So the day has finally come that we're heading to the island to pick up the one and only Widowmaker. There's been lots of stress, lots of sleepless nights, and lots of anticipation waiting to go and pick this car up. It's pretty surreal to think by the end of the day, the Widowmaker will be sitting on the Dubs Customs trailer and heading back towards the shop. Nothing left to do but get on the road. Woo! stopped into Merritt for some supplies. This sleepy little town used to be happening when it came to music festivals. The Merritt Mountain Music Festival was huge back in the day, drawing in a lot of massive stars. Things started to get out of hand and they canceled that sucker. Back on the road for the Widowmaker. Let's go. This is the beautiful Coquihalla Highway made famous from the television show, Highway Through Hell. This highway has seen major devastation over the years, starting with major floods wiping out nearly every bridge, followed up by massive forest fires the very next year. One interesting fact that a lot of people don't know is the year that the floods came through, there was also a major pipeline going through the area and all production stopped on the pipeline to help get the highway back up and running. Thank you very much, Pipeliners, for coming to the rescue and helping us out. This is one of the major arteries from the interior to the coast, and we absolutely need to keep it open. Have you guys ever walked into a town where you just weren't wanted? Let me tell you the tale of John Rambo. Rambo walked into this sleepy little town called Hope just looking for something to eat. And the sheriff wanted nothing to do with him, wanted him out. We all know how that turned out. John Rambo started a one-man army against the police and blew half this little town smithereens. Moral of story, don't mess with Rambo. So we're just rolling up to the outskirts Heading towards the ferry, any of you guys that live in this area or travel on this road would recognize the pink duster that used to sit up on the post at the pick apart. Rumor has it in an auction it just sold for about nine grand and it would have been right in this area. Such a shame that it's gone but I hope whoever bought that car is going to do something great with it. We've made it to the Twasson Ferry Terminal. You can just smell the salt in the air. This is our first glimpse at the ocean. We've got about a two hour ferry ride to the island and then about an hour and 40 minutes to Port Alberni where the Widowmaker's silently waiting for our arrival. Most likely we will be loading it up tonight in the dark. Either way, I don't care if it's light or dark. We're loading it up, we're turning and burning tomorrow morning heading back to the shop. We just got off the ferry. And we're losing light fast. We've got about an hour and 40 minutes to Port Alberni. We've got to have the Widowmaker loaded up tonight because we got to be back on the road heading towards the shop at 4.30 tomorrow morning. Just rolling downtown Parksville. What a beautiful place. I can get used to this. There it is, bud. There it is. <laughs> She's leaking a little bit of oil underneath. She is a little rough, bud. She's dirty and nasty. 
How are we gonna fit this on the trailer? I don't know, man. It's looking pretty wide, I can tell you that. Coming home, coming home. Nothing compares to that front end, eh? It's beautiful. That is a work of art right there. It's just time to give it Dubs 2.0. I think we need to run compound turbos, get some real power out of this Cummins. I was disappointed when we dynoed it. I can't remember the exact numbers, but it was only at about 300 horse. We right. need to get up to at least the 500 horse mark. So changing the turbos is definitely gonna help with that. But we might have a problem. Getting it on the trailer. Getting it on the trailer. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's getting on the trailer. We just got to figure out how we're going to do that. We'll be driving over the fenders, I guarantee it. I forgot how wide this thing was. Mm -hmm. I would have thought about it. I would have brought like some small little skinnies or something for the front. Maybe we would have made her. It might squeak on there, but I think we're going to at least be driving one tire, if not both, up over the fenders. But whatever. Like you just said, it's getting on the trailer. I don't care. It's getting on the trailer. And it's not that high off the ground. That's another concern that we might have to find a lot of blockage, like some dunnage, something to get it up a little bit higher. Well, we're pushing midnight. Let's get this started. Okay. Kick them doors open. Let's go. Oh, it's been way too long, my friend. Oh, man. Great. Awesome. She's coming home. Coming yeah. home. I'll guide, guide you out. Guide me back. Holy, she's wide. Wake up, little buddy.
Yeah, she's wide, bud. No, oh, I know. I'm hoping we're not straddling by like one inch on each side. Like we gotta climb the fender. We need to climb the fender. Ooh, it's so close, but I don't think it'll fit. Okay, let's hook the winch up. So I think what we're gonna need to do here is if I remember right, we've got one board inside the passenger side box of my deck that we might be able to kind of ramp it right here. I'll turn, drive on top of this fender. This one here will come just to the inside. And then as we're coming off, we'll just turn in and drop back down. And actually we could take the board from back here and we could put it up here. Okay, okay. I'll get the board. Two o'clock in the morning right now. We've got the Widowmaker all strapped down on the trailer. We've decided to not go into the house and bother anybody. We got here way later than we thought we would. So we're gonna get a couple hours sleep here in the truck, hit the roads, so we can get on the ferry and back to the shop. Night, night. Thanks bro, I really appreciate you coming and helping me on this epic adventure. Yeah, it's epic, all right. It's time to go night night, Bill. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> we got it! Woo! The sun's just come up. The Widowmaker's strapped to the trailer. We got a couple hours of sleep last night. We got a coffee in my hand. Day's looking bright. I've said this before, but man, we live in a beautiful country. We're on our way from the island back to the mainland. Hopefully, within hours, we'll be back to the shop. Widowmaker in tow. We just got off the ferry. The Widowmaker hasn't been on the mainland in over two years, and this is the first time it's been owned by Dubs Customs. We're gonna be taking the canyon back for a little bit more scenic of a route. We've got about two hours till we're back at the shop. How ironic that we find ourselves in Hell's Gate with the Widowmaker.
got the Widowmaker back to the shop. Over 30 hours of driving, ferries. Can't see straight, can't think straight. We get the car offloaded. I'm done. completed our epic journey to bring the Widowmaker home. Thanks to everybody that followed along and everybody that we met along the way. Like always, be safe out there. Peace.